everyone, Mike Sherry here at Paul Sherry Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Today, I am featuring off this brand new 2022, this is a Jeep Compass. And for 2022, there have been some pretty intense upgrades for the Jeep Compass. And part of that is this vehicle sitting behind this Jeep Compass is the Grand Wagoneer. Brand new product for Jeep this year is that Grand Wagoneer and then also the Cherokee L. And with that new product come new technology. And what's really cool is this Jeep Compass has inherited a lot of that new technology that we see in the Wagoneer. It's kind of like when, you're, you know, when your brother gets a trampoline for his birthday, you still get to use it and that's what's happened here. Uh, one of the major hitting points on this Jeep is it is now safety standard or what I would like to call safety standard, meaning a lot of safety features that we see on newer vehicles that are options is now standard on the Jeep Compass, such as your forward collision warning plus, your pedestrian and cyclist warning. Uh, this particular one has the blind spot monitoring, lane assist, a lot of nice safety features are now standard. So we come up front here, we'll notice the front end has been redesigned just slightly. Still has your Jeep signature grill. Now has front parking sensors up here. This particular one has adaptive cruise control and also has a front built-in camera, which is really handy. So we come around to the side. I love the black on white. Got the black roof rack, have the black backing of the mirrors. Also have the black around the wheels and lower port there. Wheels itself are 17 inch Jeep wheels wrapped in Firestone tires. Notice even there's a, even a little camera right there. Again, that's gonna assist in parking. So we come around the side, I'll give you a little sneak peek in the back here, show you a couple things that's been changed. So the seating's been upgraded. We've got leather seating uh, trimmed with a cloth insert. I love that cloth insert so you don't get the super hot seats on your tush or super cold seats, depending on the temperature, having that cloth. Now this is what's been upgraded. We have upgraded vents back here, wrapped in kind of a piano black accent in here. Also, you've got your USB ports. You have your 110 volt outlet and your 12 volt outlet right below that. Now as we work our way around to the rear, still have the wiper, defrosting rear window, has rear parking sensors. This particular one is four wheel drive and it is the latitude trim, which in my opinion is probably the best value trim that you're gonna find on the compass. Now on the keyless entry, hit that button twice and the rear lift gate is power. Also on the keyless entry, you have remote start. So that power lift gate's really gonna come in a lot of good use when you've got your hands full of groceries. It's tall enough at six foot tall, I fit under it just fine. Now you also have the button there to use it. And then, then this you'll see on the build sheet, this is the reversible rear cargo mat. So on the top it is carpeting and you flip it over and it is rubber. Uh, so if I would own this vehicle, I'd probably have the rubber side up most of the time because I'm a little messy in the back there. All right, as we come around to the driver's side, We'll go ahead and jump inside and take a look. Now in the mirrors itself, they do have the blind spot monitoring, like I mentioned, still have the defrosting, electronic defrosting mirror. All right, let's jump in here. We'll give you a quick view. You can see this is where a lot of changes have happened with the compass, is all this up here has been redesigned. Like I said, a lot of the similar feel to the Cherokee L and Grand Wagoneer new products. All right, start to the left and work our way around. Notice this new fabric. So, so for so long, we've seen interiors that are black on black on black on black. <laughs> this has got a new fabric here. It's light in color. It feels good. It's super soft where you're going to put your elbow back here. And it just brightens it up in here. And I always like things that brighten up uh, the interiors. Uh, here we've got power mirrors, one touch power windows and power locks catch all down in the door still has automatic headlights up here's got your nice digital cluster analog speedometer and tachometer still on the steering wheel check out this new steering wheel got your jeep logo here it's leather wrapped it's heated it's got blue stitching in it has adaptive cruise control that's an option on the latitude and then you have your telephone controls and then controls here for the center cluster now over here, I like this new vent here. You can turn it on and off right there. And then also, it's just really sleek and uh, built into the dash nicely. 
Over here we have the uh, all new infotainment center and I like how it sticks up like it does. Uh, this particular one is Uconnect 5 and what that means for you is you can get wireless Android Auto Apple CarPlay which is particularly cool in this vehicle because it's got the wireless charger down there. So uh, that's a nice feature. Of course, still has Sirius XM. I believe you get six months free AM and FM radio. Now let me go ahead and put it in reverse and check that out. So we've got all your camera views. We've got your top birds view. We've got your backup camera view, two of them, two front camera views. So a lot there and uh, you pretty much got 360 views of camera around this vehicle. Now you turn off your lane assist here or your parking uh, and uh, parking sensors right there. Down through here we've got buttons and knobs for your radio and heat and air conditioning. It's a dual mode system for your heat and air conditioning on its on automatic system. Right down here is where you put your phone and that's going to be your wireless charger. So you just set your phone right there. Everyone's got to have a spot for your phone and it's automatically going to start charging your phone. Uh, down through here there is USBs if you've got one of those really old phones that needs plugged in. Uh, right here we uh, do have 9 speed automatic transmission control and then you, being a Jeep you can change from automatic to snow to mud and that's going to change uh, if it locks it into four wheel drive uh, and the traction control and things like that. Down through here we've got a little, little center slot here for the key and a couple beverage holders and a nice deep console there. All around, I really like the new changes for the 2022 Compass. Uh, great part about it is price really hasn't gone up that much, and you get a lot of nice, cool features. Remember all the safety features. You've got the pedestrian warning. Uh, maybe a bicyclist is, as you're backing up and a bicycle, you know, comes down the sidewalk at the last minute. This vehicle is going to react. Also has the full uh, uh, collision warning in the front there. Uh, the blind spot monitoring, the lane assist, just a lot of nice stuff in addition to what they were already doing with side curtain airbags and things like that. So all around, really great product, really great uh, reliability and resale value you also get with the Jeep. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions, like to order one, like to take a test drive, uh, like to just purchase one, or uh, just pick our ear on something, give us a call. I'll post their contact information down below. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.